Wendy Thompson, W-E-N-D-Y-T-H-O-M-S-O-N, -S no P. In my house, we have my husband and I, two hairless cats, a Great Dane, and a 15-year-old mutt, plus two kids and a lot of neighborhood kids. I'm embarrassed if someone comes over and there's pet hair and the pet hair leaves with them. It was easy to set up. Pretty much we plugged it in, we charged it, skipped the directions, pressed go. The floors were very clean. It was very methodical. Everyone in the house followed the PowerBot. It was a little mesmerizing. The cats watched it like a little TikTok. Probably the thing I liked the most about it is I didn't have to worry about vacuuming because my husband was so intrigued by it that he took over the duties. And then he took credit every day when I got home. He's like, look how good the floors look. And I'm like, you worked really hard on that. You pressed the button. Good job. We named our power bot Sam. And Sam has taken over the duties, although my husband takes credit for it. When I walk in and the floors are clean, he's like, look what a good job I did. And I'm like, you did such a great job pushing that button. Good for you. Before the power bot, we had dog hair. Anytime a neighbor came over, kids did drop off. There was dog hair everywhere. We waited every two weeks for the cleaning lady to come, sweep, mop, take care of the floors. It's so easy now that my husband, everybody, it's going every day. The most remarkable thing about the power bot is that I can have clean floors and I don't have to think about it. They just are clean. When I come through the door, I'm really excited and I feel like it's um, less stressful to come home because things are taken care of and I can walk in from a day at work and be excited to come home. I think when I come home, I'm a little spoiled now because before it was stressful and I feel, felt like when I came home from work, there was a checklist of things to do, including making sure the floor looks good. Um, if somebody said they were going to come over, drop kids off, pick up kids, I ran around and got a mop out, a broom out, and was last minute. And I was still sad when they came over because it didn't look good, and I was embarrassed. I was stressed out. Now that's relieved. So when I come home, it's more about family time and you know, recouping from my day than what is next on my list to make sure the house looks good. I wouldn't call it a smart appliance. I would call it a member of the family because he's Sam just coming by to sweep up and help us out. And he's doing his chores so that we can hang out and be a family. Um, anything that makes life easier for cleaning the house. You know, watching the Jetsons growing up, I wanted Rosie to come and clean my house. And I'm a little bit closer to having Rosie cleaning my house, and I appreciate it. My husband appreciates it. Once you have a power bot, once you have a power bot you're never going to go back to not having a power bot you have to have. It's like having a cell phone. It becomes a part of your family. And it's just like you wouldn't go without the internet. You're going to have your power bot helping you out with your cleaning. The previous robot we had, mid-cycle, at least two to three times, we had to empty the filter. Now, with the power bot, it goes through the full cycle. It's larger and we see more dirt, pet hair in the trash, but we didn't have to work as hard because it's holding all of the same, even more. It's picking up more than the previous robot, but we're not having to do as much because it's, the filter is so much larger. When people come over to our house, they ask, does that really work? And the answer is yes, it really works. And I'm really happy about it. If you want your husband to take over the vacuuming duties at your house, you need to get a power bot 
and then it's done. When I walk through the door, I know the floors are clean, everybody's happier in the house, and I'm not gonna worry about that when I walk in the door.